Tell you what. Come on. Feels weird. Feels weird and nobody's coming with me today. That's a weird deal. Like, it's very rare that me or Mark or Adrian, like none of us, like, well at least not two of us make the cut. So that's sort of like the, I think Adrian made the cut at Conroe and we didn't make the cut. So it's happened before, but it's just like a, like, you know, you're always like, hey, how's my buddy doing? Now I don't really have that luxury of being like, hey, how's, how's, how's DC doing throughout the day? Like. So you sort of always have it, even if you don't catch them, you always have that like you're pulling for somebody else. But now it's like, all right, we just gotta bust them. <laughs> we just offer, it's all about us, I guess. We gotta catch them for, for them. Cause they're gonna be pulling for us. That's what it is. Please. All right, just roll up to the ramp. Oh, it's gonna be an interesting one. Had a big storm still coming through last night, and uh, bass and lightning and thunder just don't mix. Simple as that. Smith Lake, my shad spawn got killed, gone, done. Couldn't even get a bite off of it. I had to go offshore, caught a few fish, but just never got a rhythm going. Today, I'm hoping it's not similar, but you just never know. I mean, I'm, I'm sort of sitting here, like, thinking to myself, like, what do I need to do? And realistically, there's nothing you can do until you get there, so. We're gonna, we're gonna sort of assess the situation when we get to the spot, our first spot. If they shatter up there, we pitch that white jig in there and there's dunk, and we're okay. If they don't, we're gonna make an adjustment because I know there's like three or four of us, like Otter, myself, and and, and uh, Andy Montgomery. There's a handful of us that are on that deal, and it's like you'll know very quickly, just like Smith, if it's not going down. scattered a little bit. There's a big cell that's gonna actually come through like one o'clock. I don't know if they're gonna cut it short, but if the shatter's spawning, they do cut it short. Yeah, All right, y'all, we're here to our first place. I see a little bit of shadow tipping, not a whole lot. I haven't seen anything on the docks, but there was one that just blew up right there. So, I mean, I don't know. We'll just sort of have to see. Um, put, a, put a beating on these suckers the last couple days. But, uh, man, I'm hoping that they decide to bite. So, cross our fingers, see what happens. Fifteen, good one. Whew. So you got me in that dang deal. That's a dang dinger right there. Woo! That's a full ground. We can put your hand. Yeah, we will. 
412. 412, baby. <laughs> You got it good? 412. See you later, buddy. Oh, you want to say what's up, didn't you? One last time. That's a big one. <laughs> I see you come out and get it. I was like, oh. I was like, just get it, get it, get it, get it. Dunk. It went. Shoo. He swam out there and I said, ooh. Hello, sir. <laughs> Hello. Oh, dude. Sorry, buddy. I didn't know you were that big. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Four one. Four one. <laughs> we're dropping hang bags on them. Look at that one, y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang. <laughs> I tell you, that's almost like eight, almost nine pounds of two fish. Dang, buddy. Oh, man, that's awesome. See you later, buddy. One eight. One seven. One nine. One nine. That's our large one. Three ounces. Three ounces. Okay. I need to settle down. BMC Nico hook. Throwing a little Nico weighted stick worm. Doing the trick. It's that transition time, that transition period that, uh, that things start to get a little tougher. And you gotta make that adjustment with them. You're not up and suspended on the docks nearly as much. You're not wanting that jig moving by them as nearly as fast. Made a little transition. There we go. One pound, 10 ounces. Um, there we go. One step closer to 40. My goal was to get to 40 pounds this period. been here every single day right mm -hmm. every single day we have eaten at the log cabin cafe so when in Branson it's a pretty okay spot we ran into Santa Claus actually the first day we were here two one all right yeah. Hey, I figured I'd get it taken care of. I mean, I listen. You you had a lot of work to do over there. You're trying to get everything figured out. We had a we had a good period. You know, uh, goal was to catch 40 pounds. We successfully did that. Now we got to maintain in this next couple periods. I I don't assume that the weights will be as high um, in the second and the third period as they were this period. So we're gonna have to catch, probably switch it up a little bit. We caught a few on the boat docks and the spinner rod and the wacky worm. 
Nico, VMC Nico, uh, you know, hook on that little wacky worm. But, um, you know, we might transition to that, a little bit of buzzbait fish. That's sort of my plan. Hopefully we can make, uh, make a little make a little adjustment and catch a few of them big ones. First, we gotta rig some tackle. What's up, darling? Thank you. Can you hear me now? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Got you. Take one guess where we are. Oh, you're at that dang log cabin spot. We are at the log cabin. So he's about to get a camera. I will get the Tabasco sauce out of the way. Good stuff. Everybody else left, so it's just us. We've got the house for one more night. Okay? Sounds good. All right, well, we're going to, well, yeah, we're going to keep, what do you think you need, just so I mentally know? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Seriously. I don't know. Okay. Second, he's sitting in second, so... He's having a good morning. He wanted to catch 40 pounds. So he did that. Um, so I don't know. He seems to be in good spirits. That's good. We just gotta catch old Andy Montgomery. But we're just sort of gonna be bopping around between those couple deals. Small now. Good shirt. Oh, that's a mean mouth. I think. Eh, maybe a small mouth. It's like I got it. Regardless, he's gonna weigh. <laughs> Two pound small mouth. First, I thought he was a mean mouth. Beautiful fish. Skinny's post spawn. Probably just making his way back out along a little rocky bank. I hadn't caught that many small mouth this week, but uh, I think it's my second one. Both, both online. Dude, look at this. Look at them bass on the bank. It's unbelievable. I gotta show you that. I think they're white bass. That's unbelievable. Alright, everybody. Well, we are taking a weather delay right now. It's a little bit dicey. Uh, that second round of storms is coming through and um, not real sure what's gonna end up happening. Um, we know for sure we're gonna be at least a two hour delay. Then we're gonna go from there and sort of see what we gotta do. So, um, we gotta tie the boat off. We're up underneath the marina right now. Should be okay. Might even slide to the other side, truthfully. But um, I'll at least I'll, I'll have, uh, we'll just sort of see what we have to do. So, right now I think we're in second, maybe third, right, right around there. Um, Bobby's been catching them too, so. We caught some fish. Trolling motor went out though. I think it's like, like a cable or something. I've had it, quite a few armatures go out in those Minn Kotas, but my, my, my steering on my left side's gone out. So I don't, I don't know what's going on. So hopefully, you know, um, with two and a half hours left, I think I'm close to 20 pounds up. Hopefully I can, can uh, uh, catch enough with that trolling motor acting up to, to, to at least make the cut. So right now we're sitting pretty good. So we're under a weather delay, giving us a little time to take shelter. There's a big line of storms that are impacting some parts of the lake. So the boat on the trailer that would slide up to maybe this little barbecue spot. Let me grab some lunch, hang out for a bit, see what's going on. It doesn't look like it's gonna get out of here until probably four. So I don't know what they'll wanna do, but at least sort of I figured, heck, you know, no reason to sit underneath the one dock for four hours. You know, this way we'll sort of have 
some time to get our stuff together and go from there. Let's ride. First bite, solid. Might give it a. I'm gonna give it 8.3. Haven't tried it. I haven't tried it yet. It looks good though. Beef sandwich is great, buddy. Recommend it. Alright guys, heading back to the lake, getting ready to drop in, we just got the go ahead, starting at 3.30, it is 2.56 right now, so have a little bit of time, got to get back to the exact spot that we stopped at, which is back that pocket, and uh, go from there. The crazy thing was, I don't know if you go over, I even said that on video, there was literally spotted bass and white bass blowing up all over the place before the storm came through in the back of that pocket. It was sort of a crazy deal. So I don't know if they'll still be there, but we'll start right there, work our way out of that creek. Still having to deal with that issue with the troll motor. Not a great deal, but um, we'll see what, hopefully we can make it work throughout the rest of the day. We gotta catch, I feel like 10 pounds to be safe. 10 pounds this period. I don't look for it to be as good of a period, but I still think we need at least 10 pounds to make the cut. So we gotta try to close it out. Um, we're just gonna see. So we'll, uh, We'll see you guys here out on the water. Later. I'm a step closer to make that top ten. One ten. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what we're talking about. A little rain. Never hurt anybody. <laughs> Fifteen seconds. Well, that wasn't a bad start to the third period. Uh, we have a little weather delay again from from the light. You know, lightning and fishing rods don't tend to, to mix real well. Um, but I'll tell you what. Caught quite a few fish, got on a little bit of a pattern, <laughs> and uh, you know, hey, it's, it's been a little bit of a fun. Uh, I can't ask for anything more. You know, I was real worried about my top water pattern going away, and, and, and I did catch one on a buzz bait, but uh, you know, established another little deal that was going on right now after that storm. Um, you know, flipping a little creature bait around some of this wood. A lot of these fish are pulling out as the water's dropping. And then also, you got these run ins that are coming into the, into the lake. And, Fresh water's always good, so pretty good, pretty good 35 or 40 minutes or whatever it was. So <laughs> I no complaints here. Okay. How far am I out? One six. Two pounds, two ounces. I, uh, it was a good day. I ain't complaining. You don't see me crying on it. I, uh, lost some fish, caught some fish, took off some fish. Yeah. Whatever. Let's see if we can't go catch them tomorrow. That's the key. Alright, you ready? Yep. 
is a long day, boys. Well, I need to some gas. That's a stacked top 10. You got JoJo, you got Otter, you got Zach, you got Bobby Lane. I haven't looked at it at all, but I, I'm not, the few people that I heard, I'm like, yeah! Getting up, getting ready to get after it, early morning, final day, top 10. You can't ask for much more than that, but we got a 110 shot to make this thing happen. Obviously, I want anything, everything in the world, any, nothing more than, than in the world than to win this tournament because, you know, I got so close at uh, over there in North Carolina in Raleigh, and uh, this one... It's not, it's not going to be easy at all to win, which none of them are, don't get me wrong. But this one's going to be really difficult to win for the fact of just how many fish are in this lake. Um, it's just, it's just a, it's a great fishery. There's some good ones in there, there's some big ones in here. There's smallmouth, largemouth, spotted bass, got everything you need. But, man, if you just, you know, you're going to have to have that first period. It's going to have to be really, really, really good to where I can start out with a good period and then somehow, some way, maintain throughout the day and catch that 25 pounds a period to get to that, close to that 90 to 100 pound mark to win this thing. Say good morning. Say good morning. Yeah, go dad. Go dad. One pound, nine ounces. Green. Caught a turtle. Literally caught a turtle. Sorry, buddy. There we go. Better one right there. Two pounds, nine ounces. Yeah. Pretty good one right there. Two nine. Healthy fish. Probably 16, 17 inch fish. Large mouths. Thank you, sir. Fifth cast in there, too. That's what's crazy about that one. I'm hopping it through there. I'm like, unbelievable. Like, thank you. Finally. Mmm. One pound, five ounces. Okay. These squirts aren't really light. I'd like to know in the morning, Andy and Otter on probably the same thing. Even Mark, Andy, Otter, and Mark probably run. Better one right there. Two, three, just quality large mouth. That's what I'm talking about, buzzbait fish. Oh man, we gotta keep it going though. It's on our fifth fish of the morning. Not normal. It's not a normal morning. But we'll take him, we appreciate everyone's bites. <laughs> Okay. 
play games with me over there. I see you ate that skitter pop. One pound, ten ounces. One pound, ten ounces. A little spotty dog. Yeah. Switch up and catch them. Catch them how they want to bite. That's ultimately what it comes down to. He wasn't coming off, but man, we need to catch him. Thanks, sir. One pound, nine ounces. Well. Oh, man. We had caught 22 pounds. 22 pounds somewhere in there um not exactly what i wanted you know figured maybe if everything went right catch 40 pounds this period which i felt like that was the the key weight you have to catch to in that first period to really give you a good shot at winning the thing I'm not saying i can't catch 25 pounds a period 30 pounds a period you know in the next two but it's going to be a little bit more difficult it's getting, the conditions are getting more slick calm the fish should be positioned on the boat docks better but we're gonna have to make an adjustment if we're gonna try to win this thing. Um, I do think the buzz bait bite will, will be okay for the next maybe hour, but then that you know once the sun gets up too far, the shade pockets get out of here, and, and we're gonna have to make an adjustment even from there. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but man, handy crushed on them suckers. Two pounds, three ounces. Two, three. Hey, a buzz bait bite is just like, you gotta understand. Like, you want that sucker through there. <clears throat> oh, it's so much fun. See you later, buddy. I appreciate you biting me. I'm gonna sit over here and, oh, get my time out. <laughs> Everything he does, he doesn't, there's no way to lose him. Everything is just so efficient. It's almost like he's a machine. He, he doesn't have any wasted energy. Everything is, there's a reason for everything. And I'm real impressed by that. Y'all been biting it all weird, like, come on, man. Two pounds, seven ounces. Better one right there. Nice fish. Ready? Come on, man. 
My ham hot dog sandwich, if I had a rate of scale one ten, it's about a ten right now because I'm so hungry. I feel like, gosh dang, after catching a few bass. Not enough, we gotta do something in this third period. Unreal. <laughs> I'm just back the boat. I'm filming a superstar, man. That's what I do. I film superstars. <laughs> Maybe the biggest one right here. I'm telling you. This guy's phenomenal. Also, Check out my YouTube channel, Another Fishing Show. <laughs> Subscribe. Way better. <laughs> uh, this is Lunchables. This is the first week I've ever done this. Perfect for camera guys. Really recommend. Right here. Lunchables. Probably well, never heard of. And this guy right here, Brody, amazing cameraman. Very creative. It's Brody, right? We had beers together one time. <laughs> yeah, we did. He's the man. <laughs> no, tell him now while the camera's gone. Well, he's trying to freaking win this tournament. So I'm trying to win this tournament, right? <laughs> Brian over here, my bait's like this far in the water on the side of the boat. Said, hey, you can't, and I'm casting, right? And he's like, you can't have two lines. I'm like, listen. He did that four times. I said, listen here. If I catch a dang bass right there, I won't count it. How about that? <laughs> You bring that up one more time, I'm gonna push you. If you give me a penalty on that, I will push you out of this boat. I promise to you I will. Hey, I guarantee you bet on it. I was like, no sir. Uh-uh. I wouldn't do that. I know you would. I already know you. I already told you, that's what I'm saying. Listen, I will promise you, if I catch one doing that, I will not count him. He will not count. I will throw him back if he's a 10 pounder. I will call throw him back. Cry. Oh, no, I won't. I swear I would not. I promised you I would not. Nope. I'd, I'd laugh about it. I'd be like, oh, no. Hey, you wouldn't would, would hold it up and say, ding. I would not. <laughs> if it was a 10 pounder, I'd, no, I wouldn't because it wouldn't count. I'd be like, man. I'm like, well, I'll see you say ring. I'd be like, man, just leave this like your name, Pawn. Forget him. 30 seconds. Hey, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll down to the bank. I'm going to hit that dock. I'm going to do for that. My father. I'm unsure. What How far am I at? Third?
by like that, real quick. One pound, 13 ounces. Here we go. One thirteen. Seven ounces. Yep. One seven. Not a bad deal. Oh, that sucker bit right next to the boat. Scared the heck out of me. sitting here on the bridge just caught two seen quite a few of them down there but now it's sort of the deal trying to gain every point we possibly can and had two and two casts and i can't haven't got a bite since then so i don't know what the deal is i have to go to another pile and we only have 10 minutes or eight minutes so we're one pat one scoreable fish away potentially to beat and beating more so we're gonna have to keep going let's go the next one current rip i'll tell you that oh man what did aaron end up with there you go well that's it for table rock congratulations to amart man that's the furious hog snatcher himself uh we had a good event day in and day out had a good, good really good event had fun uh good finish fifth place I tell you every point at this point in time of the season is so valuable for red crest and i'm pretty pleased with the finish regardless shad's point didn't happen got good for me this morning but hey had a heck of a time caught a lot of fish my hands are tore up I'm gonna have to go back to the house, take a week off just to heal up. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> All right. Let me sound there's something going here. There you are, sir. Thank you very much. Hey, we'll meet again. Absolutely. At that time, hey, next time I'll be ready for you. Hey, you, you better be there. Hey. Thanks. There you go, you baby shad. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Wow. Unreal. You should be ashamed of yourself, eh, hey, Ron? I'm proud of you, seriously, buddy. That, I, you, you, you're back. You're back. Yeah. He's back. He's <laughs> back. Maybe a stomach virus in the spines of my feet. I got a spine on my toe this week. Maybe all the spines and stuff in my system are making me like think like a bass again. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Because I saw yeah. a spine in my foot. Yeah, one stuck in my foot right now. Oh, it helps. It's an attendant, my big toe attendant. Congratulations. Can we get a real quick picture? I'll keep one or two off the plate for our body. Thank you so much. Thank you. And he is a Major League Fishing Cup champion. He's got the big fish of 209 today. 54 pounds, 11 ounces with 35 scoreable. Sitting in fifth place at the end of the championship day. Table Rock, I, can't, I cannot tell you guys how awesome this fishery really is. Um, no matter if you're fishing for largemouth, spot, smallmouth, it has it all. It has clear water, stained water, like I said. You can catch them any way you want to. 55 pounds, 6 ounces, 35 scoreable bass, and a fourth place finish for Mark Brown! I caught three different species of bass. Oh, well, I guess. There are, there probably are mean mouth, which mean mouth are cross between spot and small mouth, but it's the only thing I did not catch this week. So, hey, boys, I appreciate it. I'm going to get on the road. Yeah, I got to run do an academy appearance. It's always good seeing you, boys. Okay. Take care, Jacob. Congratulations, hey, bro. Thank you so Way much. Go, thank you. All right, y'all. That's it. Table Rock right there in the background. Top five finish. I think we're eighth in the Red Crest points. 
start sitting firmly inside the cut, I hope. And obviously, uh, you know, the biggest thing is, uh, you know, giving yourself a position to make that championship. But uh, hey, look, we're here, top 10. We have two more events left, and we got to catch them. No doubt, but uh, I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy this this video or these past few videos. Um, make sure to sub to the channel, like, a hey, comment below. Let me know if you like it, you dislike it. Just 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 let me know what you want to see improve. Give us some ideas. We really appreciate and we do read those comments. So we'll see you guys next time.